Yellowstone, a geological paradise with thousands of geysers, hot springs, and mudflats. However, beneath its beauty lies the danger of an eruption. Today, a hydrothermal vent surprised scientists and tourists alike. It wasn't as large as a volcanic eruption, but it was enough to remind us that Yellowstone is a region full of mysteries. This morning, in one of the geothermal areas, the ground surface suddenly rose. Within seconds, hot steam, mixed with gas and rock, shot into the air. This is called a hydrothermal vent. These vents occur when superheated water underground becomes trapped under high pressure. Once the overburden cracks, the pressure is suddenly released, resulting in an explosion that can devastate the surrounding area. Witnesses saw hot mud flows, loud booms, and plumes of steam rising tens of meters into the air. Fortunately, today's event caused no injuries. However, this phenomenon serves as a reminder. Yellowstone is a living volcano. Hydrothermal vents are different from magma eruptions. No lava is emitted, but pressurized steam is the cause. Beneath Yellowstone lies a network of natural pipes filled with water and heated by magma. This water can reach temperatures exceeding 200 degrees Celsius. If the surface is covered by mineral deposits or compacted soil, the pressure continues to build. Eventually, a small crack or a mild earthquake can trigger an explosive release of pressure. Hydrothermal explosions are nothing new. Over the past millennia, Yellowstone has witnessed hundreds of such explosions. Some have even left behind large craters that we now know as lakes or hot springs. One such example is Mary Bay in Yellowstone Lake, formed by a giant hydrothermal explosion thousands of years ago. The explosion was so powerful that it destroyed the surrounding forest. Today's event may have been small, but history serves as a constant reminder that Yellowstone is capable of producing much larger and more dangerous eruptions. As soon as reports of the explosion were received, a team of scientists immediately went to the field. Seismic sensors, thermal cameras, and drones were deployed to map the location of the explosion. Visitors who captured the moment posted their footage on social media. Many were shocked, realizing that despite Yellowstone's seemingly peaceful appearance, the power of nature could explode at any moment without warning. Scientists insist that today's hydrothermal explosion is not a sign of a supervolcano eruption. Still, this event is a stark reminder that Yellowstone must be monitored continuously. The greatest danger from a hydrothermal explosion is not just the heat and steam, but also the ejected material. Rock, soil, and mud can travel at lethal speeds. Imagine if an explosion like Mary Bay occurred in the modern era in the middle of a tourist destination. The impact could be enormous. That's why every small explosion today is recorded and compared to previous patterns. Today, Yellowstone speaks again through hydrothermal explosions. Perhaps it's just a small warning, or perhaps it's part of a larger natural cycle. One thing is certain, Yellowstone is a combination of incredible beauty and latent danger. Every steam that rises, every boom that is heard, is a sign that this giant is not dead. It's just waiting to show its power again. In Yellowstone, small earthquakes often signal the movement of hot fluids, gases, and magma beneath the surface. 
Today, dozens of seismograph sensors throughout the park record these repeated waves. These tremors may not be felt by tourists, but for scientists, this data is invaluable. Yellowstone sits directly atop a giant supervolcano. The magma chamber beneath is vast, and whenever pressure increases, the Earth's crust can crack. These cracks trigger earthquakes. Unlike large earthquakes on fault lines like the San Andreas, earthquakes in Yellowstone typically occur in clusters of many small magnitudes. However, it is precisely this pattern that scientists are most concerned about. Because clusters of earthquakes can indicate magma movement or simply shifts in hydrothermal fluids. Every earthquake data today is immediately compared with patterns from years past. Yellowstone is the largest natural laboratory for understanding supervolcanoes. The research team emphasized this earthquake activity is still considered normal. However, normal in Yellowstone does not mean completely safe. Normal means Yellowstone remains active still moving and could surprise the world at any moment. For tourists in Yellowstone today, a small earthquake might not be felt. They can still see geysers, wildlife and natural beauty. But beneath that, Yellowstone hides a global threat. Major eruptions in the past once covered almost all of North America with volcanic ash. If that happened again, the world would face a food crisis, climate change, and major economic impacts. That's why every earthquake, no matter how small, is always monitored seriously. Today, Yellowstone is shaking again. Perhaps it's just a small whisper from the Earth or perhaps a warning that greater forces are waiting for their time. Yellowstone, a national park, a geological laboratory, and a cosmic time bomb. We can only hope that when the Earth speaks through earthquakes, we are able to hear and understand the message. Because one thing is certain, Yellowstone never truly sleeps.